latest news that affects your health today, and we have a special guest that's going to help us out with our next topic. Everyone, please give a warm welcome to Dr. Phil. <laughs> You put me on the end, huh? Okay. Dr. Phil, you've been public and open about the fact that you've been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. When, right. when were you first diagnosed? 25 years ago. Um, and I probably was a type 2 diabetic before that, but like many people in America, I didn't know it. 30 million people have diabetes in the United States, but there's a lot of misconception out there when it comes to this disease, leaving many people wondering, is this myth or reality? Check it out. A friend of mine told me if you have type 2 diabetes, that you can't really have an active lifestyle. I hear thin people don't really get diabetes. It's just people who are overweight who get it. I was told people don't even know they have type 2 diabetes because it doesn't show any symptoms. And I want to address that last third myth of reality. A lot of people who have diabetes don't know they do. Myth of reality, reality. A third of people who have type 2 diabetes don't even know it because a lot of folks either don't have symptoms or they don't recognize the symptoms. What if any, did you have? I was hitting a wall. You know, mm -hmm. you know, everybody does that some, mm -hmm. but listen, I was really active. I exercised a lot, played tennis. I was in good shape, but I was just all of a there sudden, bang, I would just hit a wall and I, I just knew I was having huge energy, energy deficits and I thought, this can't be right. So I went to the doc and he said, your, your blood sugar is really volatile mm -hmm. and your insulin is out of balance. Your blood sugar's not right. And so he did the workups and said, here's the deal, you are a type two. How did you take that? Well, you know what? Unlike a lot of people, I was kind of relieved because I was worried. I, I thought maybe it was something that couldn't be managed. And the doc sat down and said, listen, I got good news and bad news. You do have something wrong with you. That's the bad news. The good news is this can be managed. I really did a lot of research on it and found out that there are things you can do. And that's why I'm partnering with AstraZeneca right now. They are focused on the psychological aspects of this disease. There's 86 million people at risk for the disease, in addition to the 28, 30 million people that have been, that do have the disease. And so what we've done is created this website, the onitmovement.com is the website where I've put together these six steps that people can take. One thing that you have to do is really move forward. That's step number one, because you've got to really tackle this. You can't be a passive patient. Number two, you have to get educated. And you've got to really study this. And as you know, you really can get information and that empowers the patient, right? And I, this is an important disease process and that people often are afraid to get the diagnosis. I'm glad you're talking about it because if you can get educated, you can take all these steps to improve uh, your overall health, decrease the risk of complications, and, I, and that's such an important piece. The third step is you have to build a team, and the real important member of that team is the physician, because this isn't something you can do on your own, because you need to track certain things that only your physician can help you do. You build a team. Your family is part of that. Maybe you get an exercise uh, person that, that teaches you how to exercise, a nutritionist. If you can't afford those things, that's a good thing about the internet. There's really reliable information out there that you can get on what to eat and, and how to do those things. And then, you know, fourth, you need to replace bad habits. Uh, like, for example, I would work, 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 and then I would eat anything that was either seriously slowed down or dead. <laughs> and I would just, you know, <laughs> and I had to stop doing that and kind of eat every three hours to level out my blood sugar during the day. And once I did that, same amount of calories but spread out through the day, those energy deficits went away. And you've got to make a plan. This isn't about willpower. You've got to make a plan and set your life up, and then you have to stick with it. But I set all of this up with AstraZeneca at onitmovement.com, and it's all free. You can go there and get all the information. So, so important. I'm just trying to raise awareness and get everybody to know. And for people watching, some of the unexplained symptoms, if you have unexplained thirst, you've lost weight, can't explain why, um, blurred vision, 
sagging energy levels. This is an easy test. It's a, this, is, this is not one of those really difficult diagnoses, so don't be afraid. I, I love that you're a champion for this cause because uh, too many people suffer from this in silence. Good stuff, Dr. Always yeah. a pleasure, Dr. Awesome. On it, Onitmovement.com has, I've got stuff to read, I've got videos on there, I'm gonna walk you right through it, so Onitmovement.com. Awesome. Uh, I'm not gonna Thanks for coming on, Dr. Phil, everyone. Stick around. Cheers.